Oh, Christian, this uh, path is a little bit bumpy to walk on. I know. Why don't we climb over the wall and walk on this nice grass on the other side of the wall? It goes in the same direction as the path, but by doing that, we won't hurt our feet as much. Well, if you think so, Christian, I'll take your word for it. But up ahead, the path that they should be walking on went in a completely different direction to where they were now walking. It wasn't long before Christian and Hopeful were lost. And what was worse, it started to rain. Oh Christian, I can't see the path at all. I think we're lost. Oh no, it's all my fault. I'm so sorry, Hopeful. We should have stayed on the path. And now we're getting soaked in this rain. We need to find somewhere to shelter. Look, Christian, over there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it's somewhere we can shelter for a while. And so Christian and Hopeful headed over to the strange object. They were able to go inside and shelter for a little while. It wasn't long before both of them had fallen asleep. <laughs> what have we here then? These two look like uh, they've been trespassing on my land. How rude. Help! Help! Let us out! Please! Let us out! The giant who was called Giant Despair, took Christian and Hopeful to his castle. It was called Doubting Castle. It was a horrible place. Giant Despair locked his prisoners in a small cage and put them in one of his darkest, gloomiest dungeons. He gave them no food or water and left them there to die. It's all my fault. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hopeful. We shouldn't have left the way. It's not just you, Christian. I thought it was a good idea too. You two still here? Why, oh, it's miserable stuck in a small cage. It's dark and it's damp. So far away from your little king. I oh, know I'd rather be dead than be in there. Who oh, wouldn't you? When Giant Despair left, the two pilgrims talked again. I think he wants us to be sad on purpose. He wants us to despair, to give up. Hang on, Hopeful, hang on. I I've just remembered something. Oh, how silly I have been. When I was with the interpreter in the interpreter's house, she showed me something really important. It was of a man trapped in a cage. He had no hope. Now I realise that that man is me. But we do have hope. The hope of meeting our King Jesus. And everyone who knows this King has the key of promise. The key was in here all along. It was by my heart. How could I have been so silly? Oh, Christian, we have to leave at once. 
And so using the key of promise, they were able to unlock the cage. And so they both ran. They pushed open the huge door and they were off. And although Giant Despair woke up and chased after them, he couldn't catch them. Come back, you two! Come back! So they made it out of Doubting Castle and ran away from Giant Despair. The key to getting out was the hope we have of meeting our king. Wait, Christian. Where has the path gone? I don't know, Hopeful. It seems to have just disappeared. You will still be guided as you make your way to the Celestial City. Welcome to the Mountains of Delight. It gives you a taste of things to come. Thank you, kind shepherd. My name is Christian. And you are hopeful. You are both known and loved. Do we know you, kind sir? In part, but not fully. You'll be delighted to know that you are in sight of that city that you so desire. Ah, oh, that is indeed very good news. And the rest of the journey, will it be difficult? You do not walk alone because the king guides you as a shepherd does his sheep. He always goes before, even out of sight of his sheep. I give you this map, but be careful. Do not fall asleep, be on your guard, and look out for the flatterer. He will use kind words, but he is no friend of yours. Keep looking to the light. Oh, thank you, thank you, kind. Oh, where, where did he go? I don't know, Christian, he's gone. That was close, children. Christian and Hopeful managed to escape Giant Despair. Can you remember how they did it? Well, they had the key of promise. And every true believer in the Lord Jesus Christ has that hope. So, if you're feeling down or upset or sad, but you're following Jesus, remember that your hope is not in yourself, it's in him. Look to Jesus. Well, next week, Christian and Hopeful reach the end of their journey. So I'll look forward to telling you about that next week. Until then, it's bye from Uncle Trev. Bye.